All right, uh, Andrew Douglas in the Action News 5 Digital Jets. Just a few moments ago, we saw the Shelby County courtroom where the arraignment with Brittany Jackson, the four-year-old uh, Sequoia Samuels' mom, was in there for an arraignment hearing. We have um, Stephanie Douglas outside uh, live for us to really explain what happened today. And um, from what I understand, Stephanie, it was the attorney of Brittany Jackson trying to get her bond reduced. Um, anything else that we missed? Well, good morning, guys. We just stepped out of day two of general session court where the two adults that are being charged in four-year-old Sequoia Samuel's death appeared. So, yes, Andrew, you are correct. That bond reduction is not going to stand at this moment. But another thing that... Um, Another thing that Brittany Jackson's lawyer, um, Ken Brasher, mentioned that they will be requesting for her to undergo a mental health evaluation. So her bail hearing has been, um, at this point, extended to um, further out. And as for her boyfriend, Hobson, his attorney requested that they reset his hearing until the 27th. So for those prior charges, that happened in May that will now be happening now on the 27th where he'll be having his next hearing. But coming up later today in the show, I'll be bringing more. Um, we got a chance to hear from Brit Brittany Jackson's father. I'll have that in my report coming up later this afternoon. For now, reporting at 201, I'm Stephanie Douglas, Action News 5. Um, Stephanie, before we let you go, um, I, I just wanted to ask a little bit more on that because um, we saw her motioning to some of the people in the courtroom um, and um, what we understand yesterday, and it sounds like today, she had family members there in the courtroom. Can you give me an idea what it was like inside? I mean, were there an uh, overwhelming amount of family members there supporting her? Um, it, just, just set the scene for us. Yeah, well, we did see her motioning that she's ready to come home. Her her attorney says that she is vi um, not doing too well right now at this moment as everything is starting to set in. Um, I'm not sure who all is family, but I can confirm that her father was there to support her along with some other people um, that have not been identified but um, are with Brittany Jackson's father. So um, she did have some people inside the courtroom and it was um, very emotional um, sound that we got from her father um, just saying how much he is in support of his daughter. One of the things that we heard from um, yesterday, and I believe it was mentioned today, is that her attorney that you mentioned, Ken Brashear, said, hey, look, no mom would do something like this. Um, and we understand that there's kind of a, a mental evaluation. Was that attorney trying to request a mental evaluation for Brittany Jackson? Um, do we know anything about that? We know anything about well, for right now, that is something that her attorney says they would like to explore. Um, I don't know if this is going to hold up, but it is an option um, that they would like to explore. It's not, they're not saying that um, this is the case. However, that um, their attorney wants that to be an option on the table. Okay, and, um, and I understand you're doing a live report uh, on Action News 5 midday. Uh, is that where we're going to hear just a little snippet of when um, the your interview with Britney's dad? Your interview with Britney's dad. I'm going to have that in my report coming up later this afternoon, so be sure to tune in um, so I you can um, hear a little bit about what that father says. Okay, Stephanie Douglas reporting for us at 201 Poplar Shelby County Courtroom. We appreciate your time, Stephanie. Thanks so much.